Hello friends, very good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Talent Traders. Myself Bala here and welcome you all to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. And those who are already subscribed my YouTube channel, thank you for you all to join my channel. And in this video, I am going to create one of the uh, charting scanner with non repaint outside bar candlesticks pattern, which forms on a second candle. Uh, that we are going to create in this video and it is based on one of my uh, student request i'm just uh, posting this video and how to create that particular uh, scanner for uh, outside bar which is happening on second 15 minutes candle so first of all we want to know what is outside bar so the first candle uh, previously we seen the narrow range I hope uh, this may be looking fine. Yeah, some disconnection. Okay. So, what is the outside bar where I'm looking for a candle which is entirely engulfing the previous candle? Normally, we are looking at a, it looks like a bullish engulfing kind of thing, but bullish engulfing, we are looking at the body of the candle which closed 10%, uh, sorry, more than 50%. So, this is called a bullish engulfing or even slightly higher, such a thing. But I am going to look for uh, this first candle and entirely the second candle which looks like this. And uh, this can be happen on the second 15 minutes candle and the trend of that particular stock may be continuous on this side which side it breaks. Either it is up, breaks upside or it breaks the lower side. So we want to look at this particular indicator or particular uh, charts pattern with our uh, charting scanner. So scanner which helping you to find out uh, easiest way to find the stocks which forming a such a pattern so that's why we are using a charting scanner so more powerful tool and uh, we did uh, that one adr today also it works well for uh, dlf some of the stocks but overall market is slow but some stocks are working well and uh, let me go to the concept of a uh, candle should be uh, broken uh, both the sides or uh, candle the 15 minutes candle the second 15 minutes candle which breaks the high of the previous candle that is the first 15 minutes as well as it break the first 15 minutes candle low so that is what the condition which i'm exactly looking for and i'm going to create that one in this video so here you can see the example of this particular candle so this is not happened uh, in the second candle but it was happened on uh, maybe around the fourth candle around 10 o'clock so this is the exact pattern which i'm going to looking for and to get it on the charting scanner you can see the previous candle high and low that is exactly inside between the current candle in this candle it breaks the high as well as it breaks the low so why this candle is very important if it is uh, maybe uh, for a breakout so for example people who are trying for a candlestick pattern they will buy at the breakout and immediately they keep a stop loss below and if the stock which triggers the stop loss they may be reverse also and again the new high or the same high should, should be the stop loss maybe those points or a stop hunting points or a trigger points position uh, either upside or a downside trigger points that's the main important where we are looking for this particular chart so this time first initially it breaks the high maybe we are expecting bullish suddenly it breaks the low and triggers our stop loss in a long side and this time we are looking for a bearish or a trend or reversal also but this candle have some valid reason for a trend continuation because in this candle if you are anyone who are following this high and low as a stop loss both the sides got triggered then finally market can move any one of the direction after triggers or stop loss so that is the reason which i am going to follow this and simply we are going to create an enchanting scanner and i am going to use it on a, a fixed time frame and we can use it for higher time frame also let me create both the scanners here so i am going to show you how to create just i am going to open a charting and uh, creating create a scan and looking for a future stocks okay so we always using a equal to candle is the fixed candle and it never repaint even you can check after two days three days one week later also it never repaint so if any scanner which not repaints then it would be a good for back testing okay some some scanners will be repaint that is not good for back testing i will show you that also uh, in this video so first thing the high of a particular uh, 15 minutes candle 
should be greater than the high of previous candle okay the same condition uh, the low of a particular candle and uh, it should be less than the low of previous candle okay so here simply we can use 15 minutes time frame i will change all the time frame into 15 minutes and daily also we can easily filter off and uh, this is what a simple condition which you used okay so here i should just go for a equal to two candle okay then i'll be using equal to one candle so this uh, scanner will never repaint okay because we are fixing the candle size i will save as a test and this is a simple step if you are following this we will be finding today no stocks what is happening here a few minutes so less than sorry here it should be the second candle okay not a first candle so today we don't find out any stocks and this is what a back test is so daily one or two stocks maximum that happened and it is fluctuate more than the first candle range in the second 15 minutes so that would be a great opportunity where we can look for a uh, trending side which side it breaks only few stocks if you get a 10 15 stocks in a scanner we can't able to do it so that's the main reason so i think here is the back test 8th december can pin move so let me go to check can pin move it's happening on 8th December. Yeah, here is the 8th December. We are looking for a can pin move. This is about a first candle of 9.15. The high is around 65. The next uh, 803.65. Next candle high is uh, 803.95. So it is greater than the previous candle and the low comparatively lower than this previous one. So if I'm looking for a breakout below and that high should be my stop loss 1.6% and it is now almost 1.4% that gives and for an intraday trade so high and low should be the entry point which i'm going to looking for this particular scanner okay and uh, previously if you are looking at any point of the time it is fetching only the first candle sr previously the date is around 7 12 so sr of 7 12 15 minutes time frame here is the candle here is the candle maybe yeah so the second candle here is the second candle the high 256 and maybe initially it triggers on a bullish side and a reversal from the bottom then it will be going to be big but it is not showing you the exactly low is less than uh, but maybe some data feed issue okay on seven sorry seven or eight seven twelve this is 8, 7, yeah, here is the pattern, you can see here is the pattern, so high and low on 7th December and the low is not broken, I also not broken, after some times later the low is broken, but till the day the high is not broken, finally the closing, it is closed nearby 2437, the low is around 2437.60 and the same cost price which is closed, not a big move on this particular stock. And the previous to previous LIC housing finance on 612. Whatever the time frame, if you are checking, it will not repaint. 612, maybe this. And the second candle, which is entirely greater than the first one, and the high is broken. And now it is giving you some good move. But after that, it is going to give you good move. But we are going to use only for an intraday purpose. Okay. This is what a scanner which you have asked my uh, based on your logic. So you can utilize and uh, this is what the path the cast creation which you can create and the same thing also we can uh, create a, a latest candle and a minus one candle so i'll you can copy this and a minus one candle is about any point of that time so i'll tell you uh, the repaint conditions here so minus one is a current candle so we are using minus one candle we are comparing previous candle okay so this will find out any point of the time so you can see how many stocks we got it if you are looking at this point uh, around 12 to 15 so matter we can go for in the morning uh, maybe here around uh, 11th december around 9 45 jsw adani and jsw and adani enterprise uh, and maybe what does the point exactly 11 9 45 there is a 9 45 here is the 945 you can look at this the previous candle 
and the current candle so you can see there is a difference this low is less than the candle and high is greater than the candle so maybe there is a continuation but we don't call for any uh, time frame so how we filter out very minimum number of stocks here you can see each and every time frame you will be getting uh, 30 40 stocks it's not a good for an intraday so we can simply fix it out uh, by using the low of latest candle uh, equal for a 15 minutes time frame 15 minutes low is equal to maximum minimum 40 low so almost i'm just finding out uh, this will fetch you only that pattern which forms after the downtrend of 30 candles uh, if you are looking at only two stocks and only few stocks now it is maybe good for an intraday reversal opportunity at 10 30 we have a Paji Industries today. So let me go to check Paji Industries. And this is also not ribbon. 10.30. Here is the 10.30. Maybe that high should be my entry point. And the low of that particular candle should be my stop loss. There is a good reversal. And let me check some other points. Here, uh, CIPLA around 11.15. This is for a bullish sign and trend reversal. After uh, both the sides, it's again CIPLA. What is the time? It's around 11.15. here is the candle at 11 15 so the low is broken from 1202 and it came to 1194 and the high of this candle so this is happening at a lowest level maybe we can look for a bullish reversal and if it is happening at highest level we can look for a bearish reversal and this will help you to find out a uh, lower level but if you are using this it will never repaint if some other condition the low equals to a weekly low or a daily low that would be repaint because the low can be changed but this candle number is cannot be changed so it will never repaint the same thing which we can use for a upside uh, reversal also so let me check um, uh, the same but the condition i'm just telling you how to do it so here the high is uh, greater than and the low is lesser than that's right this is the same condition but here only thing which you have to use it a higher level that high of that particular uh, 15 minutes candle must be greater than maximum number of candles uh, here should be high so this will help you for uh, higher levels still uh, maybe here some stocks like uh, 30 15 minutes high uh, equal to maximum okay this will help you so let me check any stocks which is happening here around 12 30 siemens and nakari let us 1230 where it is the exact time frame today and this one you yeah, look at this this candle is very small and the next candle but we are looking for a sale opportunity but we didn't get any sale opportunity and nakuri yeah 1230 this is the candle but the low is not broken but it is happening and closing hours okay so that's a non more stock and let me check any other stocks here at sbin on 10 30 yesterday sorry today sbin 10 30 maybe this candle that one which i'm looking for so the low of this 10 30 low is broken and it is slightly moved but it never goes up to the top so using this condition we can now filter out the higher level the pattern lower level pattern and equal to the candle so that is also we can easily find out with this help of the scanner i hope you enjoyed this session and if you like this video hit your like button and if you are still not subscribed the channel kindly subscribe the channel to get more update thank you so much thanks for watching this and uh, any other doubts and questions you just ping me on the chat box thank you so much